It is potentially a watershed moment for hockey and the justice system in this country. On Monday, police in London will outline long delayed charges of sexual assault for five professional hockey players on leave from their teams, including three NHL clubs, careers and reputations hang in the balance. They're in unknown territory. I mean, their careers are at stake. Their professional life is at stake. You know, their, uh, their ability to earn a living, you know, they could be incarcerated as well. For the accuser, identified as EM, it is an agonizing quest for justice. This is going to be a brutal, brutal experience for her. Daphne Gilbert says complainants have often faced a backlash when celebrities like sports heroes are accused. But she says police and prosecutors are acutely aware of the enormous public interest in this case. It does seem to have taken a long time, and I can only hope that that means that the case is really solid now that it's coming forward. Gilbert says the case will hinge on consent applied distinctly to each of the accused. The alleged assault is said to have happened in this London hotel after a Hockey Canada gala in June 2018, honoring the world junior champions. The five accused played for that celebrated team. The woman was 20 at the time. The whole legal system in Canada is not well suited uh, to assisting sexual assault survivors. McIntosh Ross says the case will test not just the legal system, but other institutions, such as Hockey Canada, which quietly paid a settlement to the accuser, while the accused kept playing in the NHL and Europe. There will have to be a commitment from the NHL, from Hockey Canada, uh, from lawyers, journalists, um, players, coaches, to really make a commitment to changing this culture because this didn't happen overnight. This happened over decades. I think any characterization that this is a systemic issue is both inaccurate and unfair. The NHL's commissioner felt compelled to answer critics as the league's all-star weekend was showcasing its best players. Gary Bettman distanced the NHL from those now facing charges. All will be free agents at the end of this season, though Bettman wouldn't say what the league's plans are. What transpires in the judicial proceedings may have to, may have to some extent an impact on what we choose to do or not do. For now, the players' hockey careers are on hold as they face criminal charges in this courthouse on Monday. The charges haven't been tested in court. Lawyers for the players say they will plead not guilty. Eric Sorensen, Global News, London, Ontario.